Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Brandon Sol Castaneda here. Today I'm gonna paint a portrait of this beautiful image. Okay, the colors I'm going to use are titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium red hue, alizarin crimson, and ivory black. I leave a space here, here to put maybe ultramarine blue later. Okay, I'm gonna start just with a little bit of black with this finger brush just to make it a sketch. Uh, then I use this portion for as a palette. I'm gonna place the, the whole head here. Okay, let me see. Uh, you can see this shape is like a triangle here. It's kind of uh, it's. This is always it's easier for me to look for these simple shapes. That means I can place the face here. Okay. Maybe. You know that I, I always prefer to go bigger. It's going to be the top. The top. Okay, here. Okay, here's going to be enough. And then. After painting this, I can move yours over here on the palette. Okay. Yes, I think that's okay. Now the center line. One thing that you could use always is your brush to see if the center line is tilted to the left or to the right. This is really important. I mean, I always try to be very accurate with this center line. Something like this. Okay, hello Maria. Happy New Year. Hello Mervat. Hello Shodari. Hello Kusai. Oh Mervat. Uh, Mervat is telling me wonderful reference choice. Oh, this is that I mean the measurements of a baby face is different. Uh, I mean not, not that different, but I mean mostly in the eyes because gonna make this now. Uh, and an adult, usually I go from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin, I look for the mirror. That's gonna be for the eyes. And the baby, I gotta choose a little bit below, below for the eyes. That's because babies has, uh, let's say, uh, their faces are concentrated here, but they have like a bigger, a bigger head. And let's see, this is going to be for the eyes, the eyebrows. And I try to follow the same measure from here, from the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, and from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Okay, since the eyes are a little bit lower and are bigger, this looks, looks a little bit shorter than this. Okay. In the nodal, the eyes is going to be like here what makes this, the distance between this and this different. Okay, I'm gonna mix first a brown color, black, cadmium red hue, and, and yellow, red, yellow, and black. Trying to get kind of a, uh, let's say the, Burn umber, something close to burn umber. Okay. Okay, okay. The eyes are a little bit up. And I'm squinting my eyes just to try and looking for this. This is a simple shape. This. And now I will go make this. I'm gonna use my brush to make the same diagonal line. Okay, it's gonna be like here. Okay, now I continue squinting my eyes. I'm gonna look for the shape of the forehead. I'm gonna be like this. And now the shape here between the eyebrows and the nose, something like this. It's a shadow here. I'm kind of drawing with, uh, I, I keep my, my eyes squinted. 
Okay, now this shadow here, this is space here. Now the mouth around here. It's gonna be for shadow. Now with another brush, I'm going to add, uh, for me the best uh, way to get like, because this is going to be like a classical approach, classical painting, I, I would like to get that classical uh, look, like a museum classical uh, appearance, I, I, I really would like, let's see if it's possible, but I'm going to mix some green first for the first layer. Okay, I'm gonna paint this all green. Okay, I'm still squinting my eyes, always trying to paint and draw at the same time, okay? Hello, Monique. Hello, Dita. Okay, again, squinting my eyes again. of this. I have this image, I have this image to see in value. I have a bigger image to my left, I have the image in my computer. Remember, you need to have a lot of images. That is, uh, when we paint something, that's, we need to see this from different angles. If you can place the, you, another photo here, or even up or down, you have to do it. I mean, that's a reference. Don't paint using just your cell phone. I said a lot of time because I have seen so many, uh, I know so many people that they just love paint using their cell phones. And it's, that's not enough. It's just putting an obstacle to yourself. Okay. And I use the same color on the prepare more. I'm gonna paint this. No, I say that because painting portraits is not, not easy, yes, it's, it's, it's really difficult. And when we, uh, we, we, when we just use our cell phones, that makes this even more difficult. a little bit just to paint here. Okay, always thinking something simple. You see this geometrical shape. I see a triangle here. Okay. 
I don't need to see more. Then when I, I got more more here, then I started thinking about details and all of that. But first, it's always simplification. It's always simplified to a simple geometrical shape. That's what I love to use. Uh, mostly a triangle. Just triangle, you can find a triangle everywhere. Yeah? Now that I have something here, uh, I mean, right now it's a mess, but, but it's something, yes? It's like having a sculpture, yes? And uh, it doesn't have any form, but, or it's something. You know, we're gonna mold that. We're gonna just carving out that, that sculpture until we get the form. Now I'm going to draw. I squint my eyes again. And I, I'm guessing the eyebrows here and here. The eyes around here. No, that's not okay. Mm. You know, I make this and I, I, uh, I saw... Because I feel this whole thing is okay. Now I'm going to move all this is inside here, all the features. And the space for the forehead is too much. I'm gonna move uh, the eyebrows up. Okay. Uh, okay. It looks better this this shape. Okay. Now the eyes. I'm gonna paint the eyes a little bit up. It's around here. Uh, it looks more like, like this. Now, I see this shape. Now I'm gonna just, let's say, uh, zoom out, zoom in, see, zoom out my, my vision. I'm gonna see this. Okay, then I came here with my triangle for this. Okay, I'm gonna paint here, some eyes because it looks kind of scary right now. Let's try to get the eyes here and here. Okay. Oh, oh hello, Dita. Cornelia, hello, Cornelia. Are she? Uh, why is there sound on coloring? Okay. Oh, that's my. You, I mean, you mean maybe my brush against the canvas. The sound is very strong. Hello, Jose Lu. Monique is asking me, have you considered writing a book on our painting techniques? Well, that would be, uh, that would be something that, that would be too much effort. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be a lot of work. And to be honest, uh, it's like I don't have like a lot of, let's say, uh, like, uh, mm, but that, I don't know how to explain, but I think that all any painter that would be maybe a dream come true if we can, if any painter can publish, publish a, a book. Maybe one day. Okay, now I'm concentrate here. I'm going to look for the light. Okay, you can see lights. One light is here. Now the other one is here. Okay, I'm trying to calculate the distance from here to here. And I can make this here, okay. Now, Here, the tip of the nose. The eyes around here. I'm gonna try to guess the highlight on the eye. Let's see. There, and let's see here. 
wrong here. Okay. Maybe there. I'm going to change to another brush. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Trevor. Hello, Steve. Monique, how about a book of your portrait? Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I will, uh, I will do that. Okay, now I'm gonna see this portion. You can see if you close this, you can see something like a shape like this. Okay. Now the mouth. I'm squinting my eyes like from the beginning to, to this stage, and I've, I've, been, I've been squinting my eyes like 90% of the time, maybe even more, maybe 90, 95%, and the, the rest, 5%, it must be just fun, but just but, uh, to read the, the comments. Now I'm going to start thinking about the skin color because I have this green, a kind of, I could be kind of relaxed just by mixing some orange because I know this orange is going to get mixed with this green and between both I'm going to get, let's say some mirror skin color. Okay, and just here, I'm watching this, just this portion. Okay, the light here, the light here, the light. Okay, now I'm going to move here. I'm going to use a bigger brush.
Okay, just one color. And what I do, I change, remember I change the pressure. Here I can go more lightly, more lightly. I mean, don't pressure that too much here. And without even touching, I can blend. And here I can press more. I can, I can leave more of this color. Shudari, how do you learn English? I also want to learn Spanish to watch your other channel. Okay, I mean, I learned English, uh, well, I think uh, was, I mean, uh, here in, in Peru, we studied English from a very young age, but that's, I mean, the education is not that good. It's not so good. After uh, so many years in studying as a kid, you're not able to speak or understand. And, uh, but when I went to New York about it was about 17 years ago. I spent one year in New York. That's where I, uh, I learned the most about English. It wasn't enough, but I think it was my foundation. And from there, I'm practicing, trying to find uh, partners, and watching a lot of TV in English, but I remember when I was uh, when I went to New York when I was there the, the first day. Uh, I mean that was I mean, now I can laugh, but that time was so difficult. The only I mean that was so difficult. I mean, I, not, nobody understood me. Not, it was so difficult, but but uh, the good thing that there in New York there are a lot of people from different places, and. You can find always somebody that speak your language. Okay, I'm going uh, adding a little bit of red here to make the lips here. I remember the first day, the second day that I was in New York. I went out to see the museum, the Metropolitan Museum, because that was my, I mean, I couldn't stop thinking about going to, to the Metropolitan Museum. And I was, when I was in the uh, the sub subway, and I was about to like five, six blocks to get to the museum. And I saw a couple of guys with a lot of paintings Yes, in the subway, and I say, "Oh my God!" And though I mean, both of them they look Latin guys, and I said, and I started getting close to them, and they were speaking Spanish. And one of those guys speaking, they has like a Dominican accent, like a Venezuelan accent, Puerto Rican accent is kind of sim similar. And when the other guy starts is starts speaking, he has a Peruvian accent. I said, "Oh my God, this guy is from Peru." 
it's just by the impulse when they went out from the subway, I went on out after after the night. And I told them this, hey, hello, hey, my name is Renzo, I'm a painter too. And they were like, they stood there, staring at me like freezed, like saying, what? <laughs> they didn't know what to say. And the, Domin Dom uh, the guy from the Dominican guy says, oh, hello, man, oh, what? oh yeah, hello, because I mean, uh, Oh, you're a painter. Oh, okay, okay. My name is that. Like that. This is this. He was really nice. And the other guy from Peru, he was just staring at me. He didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, the, the 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 image is. Uh, I have the link to the image in the description box. Okay. Uh, you see, I, I don't have too, too many colors, but this orangey is the one that on top of the green is, is I'm making all the mixtures here. And then I met them just there. And they were going to an art exhibition. They were just like, we're going to an art exhibition. Do you want to come with us? And they say, okay. They say, I forgot about to go to the Metropolitan Museum. I went with them. And we were in, at that time, I, I was in, it was Brooklyn? Brooklyn? No, no, sorry. Okay, the exhibition was in, I think it was in Bronx. Bronx. And then the when we went when we get there, I was I thought it was about to an uh, exhibition an art gallery and yeah, something like that, but there was an exhibition in just in the street. And this was like the yard, the backyard of the school, elementary school for kids, just the backyard. There were like 20 painters there. Just with uh, just there. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to get this, and the one thing I want to do is I want to paint the background because I want this. It's kind of uh, I feel just this glowing, and it's kind of I don't feel okay this versus this. And because I want this classical look, I'm going to go with just really dark background. I have here a small tube of burnt amber. Okay, I think I'm uh, Where's my palette knife? I'm gonna clean out this a little bit. Remember and then and then uh, okay that's better. I mean, I mean the looks of uh, classical approach is, is better with a really dark background. And I remember that day uh, I stayed with them with like the whole afternoon drinking some beers and speaking about art and speaking about anything. And I remember I told them, I mean, I asked them, uh, where can I find uh, a job just to paint? Yeah? And then they told me they, they were working in an art gallery in Manhattan. And they gave me the address. And, and the next day I went to that gallery. 
it wasn't like a storm. It's not like an art art gallery. It was like a storm, more like a storm, because they have like a lot of paintings. It was like a, there was another empty space on the wall of the walls, the walls of that gallery without a painting, even a tiny painting or bigger paintings. It was just full of paintings. I remember I went there the next the, the next day without speaking even I mean the proper English. I was practicing to to go and say, okay, my name is Renzo the painter, and I'm looking for uh, some some friends told me that something like that. And then I remember I, I get I get inside. There was a, maybe the the owner, and then when I was approaching to him, I don't know for where it was appeared. Just close to me, next to me, uh, uh, a woman, and she was, come here. She told me, come here. And I said, okay. I said, what? I mean, I just came here. I couldn't even finish a phrase. She was like, come here. Come here. And I said, what? Come here inside. I said, okay, okay. I go inside. <laughs> when I went inside the gallery, it was like a lot of like, I don't know, maybe four. 40, 40 easels, like 40 painters, and I get inside, it was, uh, I mean, I, I, the first thing that I remember, I, I, I saw like five painters, and they were speaking in Russian, and I said, oh my God, that's, this is amazing, and then I get in, and then I continue just going, going inside, and then I saw like another six, eight, or 10 painters, they were speaking Spanish, and then another group speaking Chinese. Yeah. Nobody spoke English there. <laughs> it's, I think, the gallery. And she showed me, she put me in the, the Nissan. She gave me some paintings, acrylic paintings, some brushes. And she told me, paint. And I said, oh, me. okay, okay. And then she brought a uh, a big canvas. Uh, the, the 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 weird thing for me was the big canvas. It has a poster in the middle, like it kind of occupied the whole canvas. It was left in just like some space like this to the borders. And let's say it's something like this to the borders. It was empty. Then she told me, paint the borders. Continue the painting. Continue the image. Paint the borders. Yes. I mean she she uh. She was uh, from China, and, and when she was speaking to me, she was like yelling at me, paint the borders, continue the painting. <laughs> it was, okay, okay. And she was just there, paint. I said, okay, okay, I'm gonna paint. <laughs> and I started to paint, and she was, I'll come back in a few minutes to see, how are you doing? And then uh, I was, okay, I was painting like for, like 20 minutes and I continue just the, the poster in the middle yes I continue just the border just it was like five inches of painting painting there was a house here I continue the house here it was something like that yes and I was continuing painting painting and then she came and I said okay that's okay you wanna work you're gonna stay now now and, and work or if you wanna come tomorrow come tomorrow and start working Yes, I said, okay, that's okay. We paid $8 per hour. We paid weekly, all Fridays. And I said, okay, okay. What do you wanna, you wanna do? You wanna go? You wanna stay? I'll stay. <laughs> okay, go grab a, a niece over there and put wherever you find an empty space. And paint. Okay, okay, I will paint. <laughs> that was so funny. I remember that so. I mean, so vivid. She's, she was screaming at me, paint! <laughs> and I just started to paint. Yes. She, I mean, and she was like, okay, you can pick up the paintings from there. I mean, I mean, the canvases with the poster in the middle. There was like, I don't know, 20. You can choose from there, from there. And I went there and I started to choose, yes. I mean, 
and I choose three because she told me about you gotta paint three daily. Okay, I said three, I mean, I, I, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna paint three, okay. I will try. Okay, I'm gonna stop the story because I get distracted and Sometimes when I get, I got distracted, I got lost. Okay, kind of, I have the face. Oh, hello, Michael. <laughs> okay, Monique. Oh, hello, Masih. Hello, Crisalina, how are you? Okay, hello, James. Thank you, Crisalina. Okay, I continue. I will, I will draw again with another brush. And after the drawing, I will continue with the story. Okay, again, let's see. Now, I think about this like a triangle. Can you see this? Okay. And this is going to be like Another triangle here. Okay. Now there is an oval uh, which is kind of tilted to the left, to the right. Maybe something like this. No brush. For the scleron, okay, first I think I'm gonna mix black, white. Yeah, I'm going to paint the scleron. Okay. I'm looking for uh, my fan brush just to soften this because um, because of the brush stroke there are so many reflections. Hello, Arcadian art. Yes, this is oils, oil paint. Trevor is asking me, do you use brushes dry or do you dip them into in your medium before you put any paint on them? No, it's completely dry. I haven't used any medium in this paint. Okay, where I was, okay. Now I need to put the highlights on the eyes 
because that gives me more information just to compare with the image. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish the story just in 10 minutes and I will concentrate to paint because to be honest, I cannot just like paint and speak at the same time. It's, yeah, it's, it's difficult enough. Okay. And then I get into the art gallery. And I remember I choose a, a painting and I start to paint. Uh, and I finished the painting is like in like an, an hour. And I said, oh, well, an hour, because I was kind of trying to paint fast because I didn't know how much time I want to spend just painting this, those, those works. And then I said, okay, the next one I'm going to be slow, slower because I don't think that's a good idea just to finish everything in three or four hours and then what I'm going to do with the rest hours. And then the next one, I finish the next one in two hours. And because I went to this gallery really earlier, like 9 a.m. in the morning, I had, I had, I have like a, the whole day to work that day. And then it's been, it, it was been just almost 1 a.m., 1 p.m. And I already had the two paintings. And I said, wow, I mean, this, uh, it's been four hours now. I mean, I have four more hours to finish one more painting. I mean, what am I going to do? And I try to pick up uh, the most difficult one. And I started to paint. I was painting really slow. And and then when I, I noticed there was a guy, another guy from Peru, the guy that I, I met the day before, he was painting like a crazy man, painting a lot. And I get, uh, yes, I asked him, how many paintings do you do? I mean, a day, six, seven, six. I mean, but, I mean, the, the woman told me to just to paint three. And then they came the guy from Dominican Republic, the, the same, the other guy that I, I met the, the day before. And he was, no, he's painting like a crazy because he wants to ask for a raise. Raise, raise. I mean, to ask, ask for more money. Okay, and... That's why, I, I mean, that, that he was painting like six, seven, and everybody else that was painting like three, just three, sometimes four. They told me, you can paint more if you want, you can paint four. And I said, I mean, they, they are going to pay me more, more for painting more? No. I said, I think I'm going to paint just the three, and that will go really slow. And then I remember I gave a, a false name because I was scared. I mean, I didn't know anything about looking for a job in New York. And I said another name, I remember. I didn't say that my name was Brains. I don't remember even the name that, that I gave to this woman. Yes. And this woman from, from China. And then I remember the Friday, uh, they were just calling the names, calling out, out loud the names of each one of them. And one by one, they give a check, the check, the payment, the, the, the week payment. And at the end, they finished all the names and nobody called me. And I said, I said what happened? Nobody called me. Why? <laughs> and then I went to the woman and said, nobody called me. I said, what? I called everyone, I mean. I just have one check for this name. And I remember, oh my God, that's me. <laughs> I forget I gave another name. I was waiting to hear my name. 
it, I mean, nobody says my, nobody said my name. Venga, sientas me. Okay, here's your check. <laughs> okay. And the check was with the name that I gave the first day. The first day that I made this, and then I was kind of happy because I have a check. Everybody was happy with a check. And then I realized, oh my God, I have a check with another name. How was I supposed to make that check? I mean, how was I going to get the check, the money from the check? <laughs> and I said, wow, oh my God, I, I mean, an uh, uh, unreal problem right now. I was thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? And uh, some guy told me, uh, I mean, no, I realized about that when I was just in the line in the bank. I was in the line. I was about so close to get to my turn to to go to the checker. And I realized that was another name. And I said, oh, my God. And then I remember this guy told me, oh, don't worry about that. Because I, I told him, I have, I have a problem here. I mean, the check is, you know, they don't worry about that. I mean, they, they don't know, they, they are not gonna ask you for any 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 proof, anything. And I said, yes, that's, are you sure? Yes. And then when I get to the checker, I gave the check and she gave me the money. That's it. <laughs> it was so funny. Okay, that's enough with the story. Okay, now I'm gonna draw again. And then remember that first Friday we went to a bar to drink some beers and I met a lot of uh, like six or seven uh, painters maybe that was the, the best people that I, I, I have ever met in my life in another country. Because I don't know why, but they were at least in New York. For me, that was amazing because they, everywhere that I, I went, everywhere, every time that I met people there, they were like willing to help you. It's like, I remember once one guy told me, here we, we have to help each other. If you need something, tell me. If I can, I'm gonna help you. If I need something, I wanna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Okay? That's how everything works here in this city. We gotta help each other. Yes. And that was 100% true. I mean, at, at, at least it was for me in all that year. Yes, that's what I said. I met maybe the the best people that I could ever met everywhere. I, I met the people there in New York. And I spent uh, with them every Friday <laughs> drinking some, some beers after work. That was funny. Well, it showed that it was funny till the name was not on the check. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, I, I got I got, I got scared because I remember when I met those guys the first day. I thought well, that would be funny. I mean, I want to stay here for a while in New York. I need to paint. I need to work. And then somebody told me, okay, you can not work here. And I said, you cannot work here because, I mean, it's against the law. You're here just like uh, making your exhibitions or your things about art or whatever you want to do. You cannot work. And then I got scared. And that was the reason that I gave another name. Yeah. 
uh, all those, like, like three, I, I, I worked there for two months. But, but I still just hanging out with those people for the full year, every Friday. Every Friday I used to go there to wait for, 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 uh, to wait for them at the door of the gallery. I was like a dog waiting for my owners, <laughs> for my bosses, <laughs> to go to drink some beers to the bar. Uh, but, but for the two months, I was uh, just with another name. And it was more than one time that uh, somebody was calling me, and I was like, mm. and somebody was like, hey, hey, hey. and I said, it was like, oh, man, you're deaf. I'm calling you. I said, what? I'm calling you, man. I'm asking you. I'm, I'm, I'm telling them, like, Roberto. They say, Roberto. Roberto. And I was like, mm. I said, oh, my God. I'm, 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 That's my name. That's my name. Okay, little by little, I'm just going with this color. Just adding more light and more light. You know that this thing is about just adjustment this. I cannot go like right away with the color. I'm gonna control because I want to always think about where it's gonna be the lightest light and all the thing about, I mean, going with a warmer color here and a gray version of this color here. Not the same. You gotta control that. Okay. Yeah. It was Funny till the new one. It took those memorable moments. Yeah, that was really funny. If you're a great painter, but also beautiful storytelling. Okay, thank you. Yes, I mean there wasn't even a bar. It was like in a restaurant. You have that kind of like a uh, grocery store, and you have a small buffet, and you have a uh, uh, some tables like a bar. Need to add more right to some portion of the face. Obviously, it's going to be always the cheeks, the chin. It's always the same, okay? The nose. And then, I mean, this is about control how, how much red do you want I, not, right now it's too much but anyway i mean I, i'm gonna add more paint and more paint the lower eyelid and the upper eyelid they are so they are always a little bit reddish
Okay. Yes, your right shoulder. Eh? Um, that's where I presented that. Monique, the later part of your story reminds me of an artist's great gathering in the cafes of Paris back in the day. Yes. Yes, I think. But, Do you remember at that uh, bar or restaurant? Uh, they we were used to plant a lot of exhibitions, art exhibitions everywhere. There is always somebody that with an invitation to do something here and there every week. Even uh, to go into some I don't know what's the name, or uh, Art Fairs. That's the one that I remember, I remember once somebody told me, okay, we're gonna go with some paintings to uh, the kitchen of the hair. And I said, the kitchen of the hair, what's the name? Where I heard, I heard that, and I heard that in a movie. The kitchen of the hair. I mean, what's that? That's a street. And we're in Manhattan, you're just close to, I don't remember, I don't even remember where exactly. But I went there with my paintings. I mean, with a couple of friends, with with my paint, some paintings, and we get there just the street. <laughs> and there were some people there selling jewelry, 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 and some handmade stuff. And they were uh, and, and and me with my friends. Just there. And I mean, we were there, and we, we kind of find an empty space. And we, we sat there with our paintings. And there was no people at all. <laughs> okay. And adding more light and more light, little by little, okay. Okay, I'm going to continue the story in the next painting because right now I just need to be concentrate to concentrate here because kind of a loss, loss, kind of a feeling like I'm losing something here. Too many stories for today. You can go to bed now. Okay, little by little, little by little. Now I'm using a design crimson and cadmium, right?
Uh, we artists stick together. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your stories enhance the painting process. Okay. <laughs> so that is, I mean, you should tell a story with each painting. Oh, well, I, I don't have too many stories. I would like to look for some memories. But I have some, I have some stories, of course, but every trip, every place that I, 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 that I, I have gone, Yes, I mean, I mean, there is not too much, but I, I went to Guatemala, and I went to USA, of course, Colombia, and where is where Ecuador, and there was there, there was always is funny stories around art. I don't know why. I mean, but there's some, some funny things that always happen. I think it's about, I think maybe it's about the people. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe Aris is, maybe we are funny. <laughs> funny people, wow. Okay, right now you can see that I'm not pressuring that much and almost just laying down the paint and I move the paint again with the same brush, trying to blend it. I move the camera. That's okay. I think that's okay.
I don't want to paint this because I don't want this dark. Hello, Vicky. How are you? Remember, this is going to be always more reddish on the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid.
Okay, as I'm changing the color, I add more and more paint. And you know, I want to try to get this look of a classic painting and I need more paint for that. That was too much, right? I'm going to keep that red with this green. Okay, that's better. Again, a little bit of red. I'm gonna go back and forth until I, until I, I feel like I see what I want. This brush is amazing for, for glazing, for, I uh, mean, blending. I have a new one here. I just, okay, you can see the difference. This is, this is saying number two, the, the brand is Artist Brush. Brand new is just like this, really pointy. And now it's like this.
Ok, Stephen, hello from me and Heidi. Ok, hello Stephen and Heidi. Monique. Uh, I mean, yes, yes, I have painted a lot of children. I mean, when the people used to commission a lot of children, and no, most of children, I think. And the mix white and a little bit of yellow. I'm blending this, I prefer every blend, I mean soften everything. Uh, I don't think yet if I leave some parts, really some really sharp edges, just like this, but not yet, I mean. Now, I'm gonna see where it's gonna be the lightest light, the face. I mean, I'm not finishing yet. I have plenty of time. I mean, I'm planning this to be a three hours session. Need to see where it's gonna be the lightest light. I'm squinting my eyes and think, I mean, it looks kind of obvious because of the, 
the shadow, the, the light is coming from up. I'm just gonna go with warmer light. You know that you can choose uh, even apply a, a, a cool light and it's gonna pop up because of the contrast. But right now, I just want a really yellowish light. Okay, here's gonna be the strongest highlight. And the second one, I think, I'm squinting my eyes. And it's okay, if, I mean, this is a good opportunity just to use some filter in, in my cell phone and try to, or Photoshop, of course, gonna be better, try to see the, the, the lightest light. Because even in the black and white image is kind of difficult to see. I mean, definitely this is going to be the, the the lightest light. And another one that I, I always we choose to make the lightest light is going to be the tip of the nose. It's because we want to the tip of the nose to come forward to pop up. And then here, okay, this light is not going to be the strong because it's a little far away from the source light, from the light source. Okay. More yellow. Okay, now I'm going to blend this. I blend this a little bit and then I clean out the brush. Then I blend again. Blending around this brush stroke. Okay. I think I need to go a little bit up with this light. That's okay. Now I'm going to paint this, this clearer because you can see that's kind of too dark. Okay. And something I gotta, I, I want to do something first. Not more red. A little bit of yellow. I was thinking about this camera.
I zoom in, in the image here on my computer. Gotta fix that eye. I'm gonna have pure white here. I mean, the paint is wet. Uh, I'm gonna mix this just right here. I'm gonna dark this pinky color here, just too pinky. Okay. Okay, let's see.
And now here you have to be always a little bit reddish. Okay, I, I, can, I mean, there are some things that I cannot follow the image because obviously this shadow is too dark. If I copy this dark, uh, it's gonna lose the transparency of the nose. I gotta keep the nose kind of transparent. That's why the nostrils, it have to be, it should be uh, darker red, no black. Even if you see this black, don't go with the black. Is that's just going to add uh, some, I don't know, hardness to the image. And something that the, the classical paintings, like uh, let's say Bogarov's paintings, have some really softness. You're not gonna find this kind of shadows on those shadows on those paintings. Okay, it's not about copy. I mean, we copy this, but not all all all, all what, we, what we see. We try to go with uh, some color that we already know that could work, okay? Now, now I can feel the transparency on the nose, kind of. I'm not gonna say that that's perfect, but definitely is better than this hardness of the image, okay? I'm saying that because sometimes we want to copy the image exactly. And sometimes it's okay because sometimes I, I do that, I copy the image exactly. But sometimes it's not possible because photography is not like, um, I mean, for to my eyes, okay, for me, in my opinion, in photography add something that it's not okay for painting. It's not okay for us to copy. Okay, uh, photography is always has some sharpness that for me, it goes beyond natural. The sharpness of photography, all the contours, all the edges are always sharp. Mostly, yes, I mean, I'm thinking right now about those photographies that they uh, kind of focus something and, and focus something. Yes, I mean that's 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 different. Yes, that's different from from what I'm talking about. Okay. The most difficult thing about this paint, this kind of painting that I'm trying to, to do is always the transparency in the shadows. It's so easy when we paint something like this, go with some darkness on the don't some darkness on the shadow that kill the transparency of the skin. And sometimes we can go with some too reddish. I mean, for me right now, this is kind of too reddish. I gotta work here. I gotta adjust that. And this is kind of too greenish yet. Yeah, taking advantage of the green that I applied first, but I, I mean, I, I, I don't want that green to, to be the strong. You know that I want the, the green breathing from, from beneath in some part of the paintings, but not everywhere. I mean, its presence have to be just um, like something that is working in a second plane, in a second, yeah, and we don't see that, but we can feel it. I can feel the green just beneath this, the skin. Roberto, step back and check values. Okay, thank you. Yes, I uh, I always try to do that. Maria, Georgina. Okay, thank you. Monique, thank you. 
Okay. And that, this gray, gray color of the skin, that's the most difficult thing. I mean, that, that's going to be always the most difficult thing. That, uh, that we can we can lose that that that, that green. Okay, let me move something. We can lose that the I mean that greyness. That this kind of uh, how can I say this kind of using this exact gray that it, it doesn't. It goes. It makes it feels like I have something like, uh, like it's, it's like a, a even saturated color, a warmer color. But it's not. If you take out one of these colors from here and you put it aside, it's gonna be a really a gray, a really grayish uh, color that is not gonna work anywhere. Just in the right position. I mean, no, 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 no. That's, I, I, I'm in progress. I'm not so sure yet how it's going to end this and then just adjusting and adjusting colors okay so here i have this kind of uh warmer you see kind of reddish color orangey reddish and i have this i have this light and i have this greenish here i have a control that maybe that green is too dark Let's see. Right now, this shadow, you can see this shadow is really close to this. Yes? That makes this shadow too dark. It's like a, I don't know how to say it. It's like a hole. It's, it's too much. We're going to change this value. And I'm going to make it at the same time a color that looks transparent. I'm going with this color. It's kind of a uh, reddish violet. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's better because this, that shadow that was before was too dark. Too dark. No, that's okay. Even this one is a little bit darker yet. I'm looking for a smaller brush for blending. Maybe this is going to work, not just too big. Yeah, maybe this.
Now we're going to choose which one is going to be more lighter, this one or this one. Okay. This one is closer to us because of the perspective, but this one is closer to the light. Mm -hmm. That means this one should be lighter and a little bit saturated. It's not just about adding white, okay? Let's see if that works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna add the same color here. But I mean, it's gonna be just not, I'm not gonna pressure that much. You see the difference? The same color, what changed is the pressure of the brush. Now I see the nose too reddish. I'm gonna add again the screen and I'm going to kill this red of the nose. I'm gonna mix more black and yellow. My screen mix here is I mean with this red and white. If I still feel that it's transparent this, that's okay. Okay, you see that it's not more it's not that reddish anymore. But for I mean I'm not saying that that's okay yet, I'm just saying that I'm trying to control that uh the intensity, the saturation here and there. Like in this color, like in the middle between these two, I need to add more light here to the nose.
I'm going little by little just to trying to light up this part, this shadow.
uh, Soran. Now it feels too bright compared to the photo reference. Okay, okay. I'm gonna check on that. Presadia just amazing. Uh, okay. Hello, sorry. Okay. Uh, yes, Joyce, this is gonna be for sale, like like all my paintings. Did you receive the paintings? Michael, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. Let's see, I'm gonna take a little bit of this green. I'll put it over here. It more green. Let's see if that works here. I think this is too red, too reddish. I want to kill that, but just little by little because I mean, I want some, some reddish color here. A bit more, little by little, because uh, we know that there is no. I mean, this like uh, I gotta see the whole painting and try to calculate what is working and what is not working everywhere. I feel uh, now. I think that's that's better. This because I'm, I'm trying to keep this at the same time transparent. It should be a shadow, but at the same time transparent. Like I said, that's the, the most difficult thing to do. Making a little bit of light here. You see how it's working. If not, I'm gonna add more uh, darker color again. Okay. Okay. Okay, good night, Tita. Oh, where what? <laughs> Don't be late. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to be uh, earlier. And you know what happened today? I mean, I, you know, I have a, another channel. It's a drawing channel. I just, uh, and uh, to know that I didn't know exactly how this works with this in YouTube. And I end up just creating another channel for drawings. And I should have done the same here, but at the end I have another channel for drawings. And 
it's kind of abandoned. And today I made a live stream in the morning, in that channel, a drawing. And I'm planning to do the, that uh, daily, I hope, an hour at least. You know, we planned a lot of things, but difficult to, to know if it's going to be possible. But anyway, I mean, if somebody of you just would love to see the channel, I'm going to send you the link here, okay? I'm gonna leave you the link here to my YouTube channel, growing channel. Okay. Oh, that's the link. There's a lot of uh, live streams, but I stopped like for four, I think five months. And today I, I started doing again, drawing. I'm planning to do it tomorrow too. But drawing is different because drawing with painting is kind of, I can kind of, uh, let's say, calculate. I'm gonna spend like three hours or one hour or something like that. With, I mean, that's not kind of possible. I mean, it's not like that, but let's say. But drawing, sometimes drawing is, is different. Sometimes I feel like I, I'm, I'm okay with a drawing in just 40 minutes and and another day with the same drawing, I'm not gonna, not gonna be okay with the drawing, maybe two hours. I don't know why, I don't know what that happened with, uh, with drawing. But painting is kind of different because I mean, in painting, we cannot make too many changes. I mean, right now it's like, a, if the color is not okay, I mean, that's not gonna be able to change it just dramatically. Okay, I gotta make little by little changes because and if I, let's say, if I feel that something is like a, so reddish, like here, that's what I, and I was doing, just going little by little, try to kill the red. But if I try to do everywhere the same, maybe I'm gonna change the color of everything. And since the beginning is like uh, every brush strokes, is already making or path or road that was gonna be at the end. Yes. And for me, I'm trying to calculate what it's gonna be. But you know, that's kind of difficult. That's why at the end we finish a painting is, is we see the painting is kind of too, maybe too gray, maybe too colorful, maybe, yeah. All those things. That's where we work with the balance. Okay, yes, uh, uh, yes, that's CC Art. Yes, that's the link. I just left the link for the drawing channel. Yeah. You're gonna see like a drawing with uh, charcoal, with ink. Just like this channel, like two hours, uh, two hours, two hours videos because it was just about live streams. Yeah, maybe that's right, Trevor. I'm gonna place the link again. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm checking again about the light and the shadows. Now I'm gonna see if my, I have a bigger image and open. I'm gonna see the image here on my screen. Okay. 
okay, I have something here, I have a noise. I'm making a mistake here, I have a noise. Here is light. Okay, okay, oh, let me see, let me see. Okay, now I think I now I fixed the eye. <laughs> but I need to blend this because it's too sharp. Everything is too sharp here.
mixing just here white and yellow. And when I'm blending here, I'm softening this, I'm softening this, and I'm keeping this sharp. And I do the same here, I'm gonna just soften the edges and keeping this recording sharp. I mean, well, by now, because you know, we, we can change our mind, it depends how we see the whole painting. Right now, it feels okay for me just to let this sharp. Pure white to the eyes. Okay, again, that yellow here.
Let me see the chat. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Monique. Thank you to all of you that have, have subscribed to my channel, to my drawing channel. Carlton, can you do a master study of the Mona Lisa next? The Mona Lisa, wow, that's too much, too, that's too difficult. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, sorry, Eve. Oh, I forgot it. I don't forget because I, you know, I don't see this image that much. Oh my god, that's kind of. I mean, the link to the image is in the description, the description box, okay? Okay. No, now I'm keeping this bright. And I'm keeping this dark. And adding 
try to make this uh, hair a little more pinky by going little by little. I don't, to, I don't want to exaggerate with that color. Well, I think that's too pinky. Yeah? I need, I've been watching this portion, it's kind of flat. Can you feel it? This is round. I need light here. I've created that uh, roundness just here. Okay, I need even more. Yeah, and adding more, uh, no more, I mean, more light, but a more saturated color. Because I added more light, I, it didn't work. Now I'm going to add in light or more with more yellow. Okay. Now. I'm looking for this saddled value shift okay, here and there, here and here and there. I think the the mouth is kind of bigger, bigger here. I mean, her mouth should be really small. See, I think I made a mistake here. I'm not sure. I'm not Sure, the mouth, yes, just there. This part, this part, usually I go back and forth because I'm trying to get the right uh, reflection here. Uh, it's not okay, I gotta go again, again and again until I got it. Okay. Again, I need more light here. Looking for all, I mean, just values. Squinting my eyes, trying to see values. I keep just watching this part. I'm gonna add more, I think a little bit more of light. Okay. Now here, 
Blend it. And I blend. It's gonna be the same. I add in the slide, I blend it, and checking if that's okay. I think it's not okay. Need a little bit more of light just here. Okay. Then of course, of course, more light. have to soften the edges okay even more here Okay, I love the softness, the baby face. Thank you, Marvat. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yes, that's the problem with, or I mean, for me, there is always a problem when I start just in that, in this, just in this stage, then I start checking out the values. That's when I start just making making every every everybody older. That's that's something that I, I I need to I need to stop at some point. So, I mean I I don't know I don't know I don't know when to stop. I mean I I want to just continue 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 and and of course. And I want to make it better. 
but sometimes we make it. We make, we start making we start making messing around with the painting. We start making more mistakes. Okay, Joyce, do you still have the painting that you did recently, the one with her right cheek highly lit? Okay. Oh, the the one that was uh, watching down. Yes. Yes, he's telling my YouTube channel. Yes, I, I didn't erase that. I have the painting, yes. I would like to buy that too. Oh, of course, of course. Thank you, Joyce. Yeah, do you mean the, the, the little boy with uh, this thing, the, the, the a cloth, a yellow cloth on top of the head, yeah? Yeah, I have that one. You didn't see that? It's there. I mean, I, I, I just did it, uh, I mean, three, four days ago. So I need to add more light here, more white and more yellow. Because the, the beauty about this face of a child, a baby, I think it's just to feel that we can squish their cheeks. Yes? I mean, the, the volume just here. Oh, I feel like it's, and it's try, uh, she's starting to grow. She's starting to get older. Maybe I should stop now. I'm gonna make some. Some reflection to the iris. Okay, here. Yeah. Need to add a little bit of yellow here because it's, it looks like light. Okay. More yellow here. More yellow here in the shadow.
okay, this, this part is going to be difficult. I need to blend a little bit more of the eyes. I need more softness in the eyes. And the iris, you have to be more soft. There is a shadow here, you can see, that's for, uh, from the eyebrows, yes? From the eyelashes, yeah? Okay. I don't like that shadow. I'm gonna soften this. Okay. Okay, Joyce, it's, it's the one with bright yellow light, the size of palm with light shadows. Okay, I will send you the image. Uh, I will send you the image through Messenger, okay? To see if, a bit, but, but I didn't erase any, any, any video from my channel. It should be there.
Anyway, I will send you the link, okay? I will send you the link and I will send you the image. I'm mixing an orange to add here. Oh, true, Derek. I, I don't know if I go live in my Spanish channel. Today I have done, this is my second live stream. I was planning to, to be honest, to make a live stream in my Spanish channel, but I, I, I haven't even eaten yet. <laughs> I'm very hungry right now. And if I can, if I eat fast and I look for an image, something nice to paint, maybe I will do a live stream in my Spanish channel. That's okay. I guess I'm going to blend a little bit more of the nose and the mouth. Yesterday, I was watching a video uh, of De David Lafer. Uh, he said, edges are the most important in painting. If you can control the edges, I mean, the results are amazing. And I mean, it looks like he 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 get to the point. Yes, he got to the point to control the edges in on his paintings. I think that's okay. A little bit of color to this shadow. A little bit of saturation here. Okay, what else? Here too, a little bit of more color. 
is too gray. -ish. Okay, I think I gotta go back again, make it make it make this dark again. Yeah, a little bit dark here. Just a little bit. You can see here, I mean, this is too thick. The thickness is different here. I gotta, um, I move the light a little bit more closer here. That's it. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's it, that's it, I think. I mean, I choose him. This black, black, crispy black, but not the black here. But you know, I'm, I'm, I'm double thinking this because this is really, I love this contrast. If I apply this black here, I don't know, maybe I could lose the softness. That's some decisions that we have to just, uh, I don't know, we, it's, it's gonna be a doubt. The only way for me is just to go with the black. But black, that's a difficult color to just to get it back. Yes. And it's, it's a little bit darker than, than what you see because there are, they, you know, you know the, the, the oil painting has some glare. You can see when I put, when I block the light, it's a little bit darker. But I feel so tempted to go a little bit darker there. I still have a couple of five minutes. I don't know, let's see, let's see. If it's not working, I mean, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna ruin the painting or nothing like that. But if, if I don't like it anyway, I'm gonna take out that with palette knife. See the difference? No, 
No, I don't like that much. I'm gonna leave it there just there. It's just there. I think that's okay. Because the softness is not just about uh, uh, blending, no, it's about contrast. You can see how I, I don't have any of this really black, black anywhere, not even in the pupil. And I should, I always love to put this crispy black on the pupil. Okay, that's. Very really good, this crispy light, crispy dark here on the, for the people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Trevor, are you sure? You are sure you will run into extra time. <laughs> yes, uh, I always, I mean, every time that I, I say I'm finished, I just like, uh, it's because I know that there's going to be, uh, I mean, there's no coming back, there is no return, and it's time just to see some things that, like, I start pumping up some things that I would like to fix. I need more light here. Hello, Dioselina, how are you? Uh, now she looks younger. <laughs> okay. That, that means that uh, I, was, I was making her older and no, nobody told me anything. Okay, I'm finishing now.
Ziel das okay. I'm just trying to get this. I mean, everything about the, the face uh, kit is about roundness. You have to look round here, round. Even the forehead, round. Even if we exaggerate this spherical volume, that's going to be okay. Okay, you can see some green still uh, here, here. Here I left some really greenish part. Kind of sometimes I see this and kind of I love this green. Sometimes I don't like that much. But you can see this, the green from, from the beginning, from the first layer. There's some green here, here, green here too, here, here a little bit. Okay, I think that's it. Last thing I can make is just maybe make this a little bit sharp. Let me try this, okay? I'm gonna make this a little bit sharp. And I'm gonna soft this even more. Okay, and I soft this and this. Okay. I'm leaving this very really sharp. I'm blending this. Let me think if it's it happy or not. Yeah, maybe I have to soften this. Mm, yeah, maybe I'm gonna soft this a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Every time that I have a doubt, I always choose to soften any part. What time is it? Three hours. Okay, I'll finish. I already finished. I see something here. That's, that's, that's better.
Okay, I'm going to sign it. Since I, 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 I have sold this painting here to Joyce, I'm gonna sign it. smaller brush but I don't have a smaller brush no Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Take care. See you in the next uh, the next video. Tomorrow I will try to make a live stream in my drawing channel. Okay. I'm going to place the link for the people maybe that to know about my drawing channel. Okay. And maybe because I'm learning to cook because of the pandemic. I'm gonna open that cooking channel. <laughs> Painting and cooking. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye. <laughs> oh no, no, no. You can go now. Don't wait, don't wait for me. <laughs> Cooking. Cooking, no? Yeah, that's, that's a good name. That's a good name, Chow Dari. Yeah, I've been learning to cook all this, all this year I've been learning to cook. I'm not an expert, but I'm doing pretty good. Yes. I found a channel and I'm cooking a lot of uh, Spanish food, I mean from Spain. I add a lot of cheese to every food, every plate I prepare and that's perfect. That's a channel that is, oh my God, I see something here. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
Okay, let's stop now. Yes. Yeah, okay, I'll stop. Thank you so much, okay? Bye, take care. Bye.